12, 11, And welcome to Between Two Vibrators with Garns Alifanakis. And I am going to be interviewing the wonderful actor, Mr. Paul Pricing. Paul! Oh. Yeah. Come on in, buddy. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm very good. I haven't seen you in a show. Since? So, um, you've got a lot of tattoos. I have, un yes, a little bit of tattoos. Do they all mean something? They all have, yes, they have meanings. Which tattoo do you have that means you're an asshole? Uh, that's, like, <laughs> that's just the general uh, patina that I'm going for, so. I think that that one should be on your ass. See, if I were gonna get a tattoo on my ass, go on. I would get one that said one way, mm -hmm. exit only, do not enter. I, you know what tattoo you should have on your ass? Mm. These doors to remain open during business hours only. That's, that's a good one. So, Paul, what, um, what is the, what is the name of your character in, um, in the next room, comma, or the vibrator play? Is there a comma? I think there's a comma. There's no comma. I keep, I keep bumping into the vibrator. Do you have that problem? No, it's part of the, it's part of the play. Would you rather have it right in front of you? I mean, I'm the doctor, so I, I get to put it wherever I want. You're the doctor? I am the doctor. Did you watch a lot of that show, um, Grey's Anatomy? To uh, prepare for this part? I've not seen Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is a stupid question. Of course you'd want to watch private practice. Because you're practicing on privates. Right? I, I get it. I made a joke! <clears throat> so when does your show open? Uh, we open uh, June 6th, which is uh, a few weeks from now. What time? Oh. Uh, curtains at 8, so we re recommend people get here before 8. Is that p.m.? It's p.m., yes. It's not 8 a.m. No one would see a play at 8 in the morning. Unless it was like an experimental 24-hour I don't know. They say the early bird gets the worm. 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Friday, June 6th. Paul. Yes. What do you do to prepare for a role? Memorize my lines mostly. If it's a like a period piece, you look about look about. You understand? Yeah. Uh, I'm tired. Um, period piece. Yes. Is that is that a joke? Because vibrators. Uh, no. It's a. It, it, was your interview like this? Okay, so it's a historical period. It's when the um, the vibrator was invented. Yes, yes. So that's like 1960s? Late 1800s. It's post-Civil War. I mean, I'm trying to conduct a serious interview here. Don't make up crap. The vibrator was invented in the late 1800s. And uh, it was used as a treatment for hysteria. Hysteria? Hysteria. Why did he have stereo? Hysteria. 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 His? Stereo. What's no, a stereo? And why a did he have it? Greek word dealing with the lady regions. The lady regions? Well, you know, like hysterectomy. Is that, and that close to the nether regions? Where on a map is the lady regions? <laughs> it's, yes, that is actually a, a lady's <laughs> nether region. A lady's <laughs> nether region. Yes. Okay. We're making progress. We're making progress. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to thank you for. Dressing really nice 
Lee for this interview. Well, you know, I mean, you set the tone, I think. <laughs> I don't have a blazer. No. Could I borrow yours? Sure. All right. Are you sure I don't look ridiculous? No, in fact, I wish that I had a t-shirt with your picture on it that I could wear, like Ryan Gosling and Macaulay Culkin. I don't get your reference, I'm sorry. I would like a t-shirt with you and Macaulay Culkin and Ryan Gosling instead of wolves. It would be like Paul Pricing, uh -huh. Ryan Gosling. Costin. Sorry? Paul Costin is my name. Paul Costin is my name. Paul Pricing, Ryan Gosling, and Macaulay Culkin. See, it would have to be Macaulay Culkin down here because this one is the one that looks most like the Home Alone character. Because this one has the mouth that's open the most. Can we get, can we get a close-up on this one? It will cost extra, but we can do it. And then I could be the moon. This is uncomfortable. Do you want this back? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Not right now, but eventually. Well, I'm here. Yeah, I guess now is as good a time as any to end this interview. You want to help me sing out? Uh, what are we singing? I don't know. Didn't you sing with Ben Folds? <laughs> yes, I did. Why don't we sing what you sang with Ben Folds? All right. All right. You have to start. Okay. Bitches ain't shit but hoes Hose and, and tricks. tricks. Lick, Lick on, on the stu stut and, and stuck the dick. Skip the f out, out and you are done. done. And she soon, cause the shit she be doing ain't shit. <laughs> Bitches dancing with the streets. This was a parody. This was, this was not the song. This was a parody of the song. Yeah, I sang that that way we don't have to pay royalties. Okay. Jeez. Also, we're going to bleep out so much of it that we, that, um, yes. We're going to change it to Bitches Ain't Poop. Okay. Ready? Yes. Bitches, bitches ain't poop. poop like there. Just put that yeah. in at yeah. the yeah. end. That's legal. All right. Okay, All right. Go. Cool. Thank you. That was. This was between two vibrators with Garns Alphanakis and Paul Pricing. Costin. Paul Costin. Paul Costin. He sang with Ben Bolts. <laughs>